Can you briefly introduce what transition is? Transition for me is a movement of communities reimagining and rebuilding the world. So it's a, it's a movement because it's now in 50 countries, in thousands of communities. It's communities because the way that it works, it's focus for what it does is at the community scale. It's a bottom-up movement that works at that scale. It's about reimagining because it really invites people to dream and, it, and, and imagine where we could go and what we could create, what are the possibilities rather than always just focusing on the probabilities. And it's about rebuilding because it's not enough just to dream and have ideas. We have to turn that into action and that's what we're seeing happening around the world. And it comes out of what? It's addressing what problems? Um, when we started doing transition, we always really framed it as being a response. Transition is a response to the energy crisis, to climate change, to the economy. I think now, after 10 years of doing it, I tend not to always present it as a response anymore. Because actually what we have created in transition, what we see in place after place after place, is sufficiently wonderful and sufficiently extraordinary and life enhancing and community building and enterprise initiating and inspiration generating and health boosting that I don't think we always need to start with the response anymore. So actually why do I do transition? I do it because it's the best thing for me that you can be doing at this time. <clears throat> Creating solutions, laying them out, showing what's possible. So for me yeah, it's a response to those things, but I don't think we need to do that anymore. We can, we've moved beyond that now. Now, I know you to be the initiator, the founder of Transition, so can you give us a brief on how it came about? How did Transition come about? Transition came about because I was working as a permaculture teacher, a teacher of natural building, uh, a teacher of, of food growing, that kind of thing. And um, I had my kind of climate change oil dependency dark night of the soul <laughs> and uh, came out of that <clears throat> with permaculture principles as the, my, uh, as the tools with which to design what happens next and so for me transition emerged as an inquiry around how do we scale this stuff up really fast mm. and how do we take something that has the right design principles in it that are the principles for designing a sustainable culture but that is that I felt at the time were rooted in a movement that was quite happy being quite small and quite happy being quite niche and so for me the question was how do we how do we build a Trojan horse into which we can put stuff like permaculture so you can wheel it past everybody and they say oh it's transition and there it goes and that's kind of what we've done you know it's something where Transition doesn't need a huge long explanation. You can see through what people are doing, what it's all about. Uh, and so for me, that, since then, that's really been my life's work, telling that story, spreading that story, supporting the growing network of people doing it. Now, I, I understand why you, why you would use the metaphor of a Trojan horse, because we're trying to get it by, shall we say, the, uh, the powers that be or the, the order of things, you know. But I would tend to call it a pinata instead because it's got so many goodies inside and when it cracks open there's something for a lot of people. Let's chain backward because a lot of the people who will be viewing this may not know what permaculture is. Say a few more words about permaculture. Permaculture is a design system. It's, uh, um, it's like the design glue that you use to stick a sustainable society together. So when you're looking at designing whatever from a, a garden to a, a farm to a whole city. You have all the different elements that make it a sustainable settlement, but how you, how you stick it all together in the most efficient way possible, drawing inspiration from nature and how nature does it, that's really what permaculture is. It's very positive, very solutions focused, a toolkit of stuff you can do, a kind of design lens through which to look at those problems. I want to ask the general question, which is, what would you add to take transition to scale? I think what we're seeing already is what transition looks like when it starts to go to scale. Uh, for me, one of the th things that's been central to transition from the beginning has been uh, the conscious removal of obstacles to people getting involved. 
So in terms of language, in terms of appearance, in terms of how it's messaged, so it tries to remove lots of the things that otherwise people just feel turned off by. I think we now are able to show the economic case for transition. You know, we have enough projects around the world which model transition as a form of economic development. The economic blueprints done in a number of places which show the economic potential to a community of taking this route. Uh, we, uh, one of the keys of taking transition to scale as well is ensuring the sustainability of the people who are doing it, which I think is something that we often uh, ignore in the kind of climate change movement. Naomi Klein put it really beautifully in an interview she did where she talked about transition. She said one of the things that she loved about it was that when you collapse people's worldview, you have to stay around afterwards to pick up the pieces. And that's something that is really designed into transition. You know, if when you look at all the amazing projects transition groups are doing around the world, central to that is that those groups work that they have meetings that people enjoy coming to, that they make decisions as a, uh, skillfully, that they manage conflicts, so that group is able to sustain, evolve and grow. And I think the degree of attention paid to that by, tr by transition really stands it apart from lots of other movements that are out there. Well, I think I've all my questions answered. You're done? Thank, Thank you very much. Good.